In this lesson, we're going to look at something called angles in a semicircle. Now, if you've been following along with my playlist going on the, over the different theorems, you'll remember the theorem where I say if we take the center of the circle, let's call it O over here, and we extend a line, a radius going to A, and then going to B, and then what I do is I take a line starting again at A, and I connect it, let's say, up there, let's call that C, and then I do the same by starting once again at B and extending it up there till C, Remember what we said our theorem was, the angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference. Now take a look if this happens. So now what I'm doing is I'm still taking a radius from the center of the circle to the circumference. Then I'm going to take another line from the center, but instead of doing it like joining it over here to form B, I'm going to join it over here more or less. Let me fix that up. There we go, to form B. Basically what I've done is I've taken a radius this way, a radius this way, and as you know, this is basically called the diameter. Then I start at A and I extend, let's meet the line or make the line go over there, let's call that C. And then, so I started at A and I went to C and now I'm gonna start at B and go to C. There we go. Now that theorem that I just mentioned earlier still applies. The angle at the center, but now take a look, because this is a diameter, a straight line, the angle at the center is actually this angle over here, 180 degrees. The angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference. In other words, the angle at the circumference, this one over here, must be half of this angle over here which is 90. I hope that makes sense. So if I were to give you a X over here, an unknown, and I had to give you this situation, you would know, okay, the angle at the center is 180, therefore X is equal to 90 degrees, and you have one or two reasons that you can use here. Either angle at center equals two times angle at circumference, like we did for the other video, or you can say x is equal to 90 and our reason is angle in a semicircle. And if you're wondering why that is the reason, well, if this is the diameter like this, then it kind of chops the circle in half. And this is a semicircle. So is this one over here. This is the other, another semicircle. So it's angle in semicircle. So if I were to tell you, for example, that O is the center of the circle and I ask you to find this value over here that is called X, immediately I hope that you are seeing if O is the center of the circle, then CB or BC is a diameter. And this angle over here is a straight line is 180. So this angle over here, we have to call it CAB. Let's just name it properly. CAB or BAC, this angle over here is 90. And what would your reason be? As I said earlier, it can either be angle at center equals two times angle at circumference, or we can go with our new reason, angle in semicircle. So then if we know that this one is 90, I'm looking for X, you can see that CAB is a triangle. So X plus 90 plus 42 would give me 180, angle sum triangle. So X is 48 degrees. Here's another one. O is the center of the circle because O is the center and we've got line FG, which would then be the diameter. We know that this angle is 180. Therefore, we know that this angle, let's call it angle FEG, is equal to 90 degrees. My reason, angle in semicircle. And remember, my goal is I'm trying to find X. So there's two different ways that you can actually do this. This is a triangle. And you can see that one of the lines of the triangle, FG, has been extended to give me H. So this angle over here is called exterior angle of a triangle. And as you should know, the exterior angle of the triangle, so 120, is equal to the sum, so adding together, of the two interior angles, 90 plus X. Your reason for that is exterior angle of triangle FEG, and therefore X is equal to 30 degrees. Or what a lot of my students tend to do, instead of just jumping to this, 
is they'll first find this angle over here. So sorry, that was a G. This angle over here by doing angles on a straight line. So E, G, F, which is this angle, the star over here, is equal to 60 degrees. And that is angles on a straight line. And then they do angle sum triangle with this triangle over here. So if this is 90 and this is 60, then X is 30, angle sum triangle. Either way, it's perfectly correct. Last one over here, we've got a circle like this. We've got two triangles, actually, if you look at that. There's a diameter. It's going through the center of the circle. They have to tell you that O is the center of the circle. I didn't write it down here for you, but I'm telling you now, O is the center, which means this angle is 180. So ABC, angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees, angle and semicircle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in this triangle and I'm going to say 3U plus 2U, U is my unknown variable, plus 90. These three angles here added together must give me 180 because of angle sum triangle, triangle ABC. I always like to mention what triangle I'm working in. And then you say 3U plus 2U is 5U. 180 minus 90 is, of course, 90. And then you bo divide both sides by 5 to get the U by itself. 90 divided by 5, 18. There we go. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you in another lesson very, very soon. Click the link in the description box for more theorems, more circle geometry. Subscribe for more. Bye, everyone.